this video is about introducing the activity in Android, and it's brought to you by Impelix, Empowering Solutions. So we're going to talk a bit about activities. So for an activity overview, it's really all about the stack. Each activity in Android is really a screen in your application. So if I think of my application as an email application, one activity or screen may be a list of all my messages. If I click on a message, I go to another activity or screen that shows me the content of that message. And if I click reply, then that takes me to another screen where I can actually compose a message. So each of those screens is really an activity and all those activities come together to form my application. So it's really about the state. So there's four states of an activity. There's the foreground state at the top of the stack, and that state is active. There's a visible activity without focus. So maybe that activity is paused in the background. It's still live, but it's in the background and paused. It maintains all the information in state, but it can be killed by the system when memory on the device is extremely low. When activity is no longer visible, it is stopped. It retains its information in state, but these are the activities that when memory is needed, it's likely to be killed by the device or system. And then there's the killed state. If an activity is dropped from memory, it must be restored to its previous state. Otherwise, you may introduce issues into your application, so you're definitely going to want to manage that.